Now back to Let's Chat with Tita Gracie, only here on V81 Radio. And we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a very special guest. I introduced him earlier, and uh, he, I'm going to start my conversation in a few minutes. But before I do that, let's revisit our team. Is, um, and I'm now going to introduce our next guest. His name is Noel Rios. Noel, are you there? There you go. Hey, hi. Hey. Hey. Noel, Noel, I'm so delighted I'm so that you're going to join us. Miss Night, it's only starting to become night here. Um, yeah. <laughs> the sun <laughs> sets here at uh, seven forty-five. So now we're at of night and day. So yes. listening to me earlier yes. made me realize a lot of things and um, fills me with um, valuable knowledge and hope for the future. We're on the cusp, like all of us, whether we realize it or not, whether we accept it or not, we are on the verge of change and it is inevitable. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. You know, important that we important. have a grip on reality because um, and, and we have to uh, be uh, very realistic, like, Today's episode is about night and day. Daytime, we have to face our obligations, be realistic, and not uh, and and be encouraged to move forward, because we cannot get stuck where we are. Tomorrow's a new day, but tonight we sing. <laughs> art, ano eh, di ba? Art. Um, what's art for, right? In life. Di ba, hindi tayo kasasa sa mga essential industries ng Philippines. Ano lang tayo eh, kasi um, ano tayo, uh, we are luxury. Eh, nga, we're not like food where you, um, if you don't eat, you die. You, you, if you don't have air for three minutes or five minutes if you're a free diver, die. If you don't drink for uh, ilan ba? Two days, ba? Three days, you die. If you don't eat for a week, you die. But art, sabi nila, you you may survive without it for a while, and um, maybe that's true. But um, paano yun? What what kind of a life would it be? And siguro we need it too because it makes us realize what life's for, what's living for. If you're just gonna be alive to figure it out, to figure out what it what it is, it's true. Because you you need you need basic necessities first. Kaya lang kaya all of us in this pandemic, in this crisis time, the focus is to stay alive and to stay healthy. Para we can figure it out, we can figure it out. But sooner or later, the sabi nga, the sun will rise. Everything will um, be okay. We just gotta hang on. That's true. And I think that uh, my situation, preparing for the show every week, I have to uh, muster up the energy to do my own research, to come up with the right theme and everything. And as I mentioned earlier, when we opened the show, my week started on a sad note. I lost a very dear friend. And uh, I was struggling Monday and Tuesday. I was struggling. And then when I opened my Facebook on a Wednesday morning, I heard a very beautiful piece that you sang. And because of that, somehow I was brought out of my sadness. And uh, because Cole Porter happens to be one of my favorite, favorite composers, 
and uh, you sang a beautiful tune and I believe that we have a video of that tune right now um, and uh, Noel can you tell us a little bit about this song before we start the video because um I wanted to to, uh, to to bring the live theater experience, well, the closest thing to it, to um, to social media, to mass media. Yon. I mean, I'm not a public figure. I'm not a celebrity. But I do have Facebook. So yon, let's post it. And then it's just self-expression, right? And you never know. That's nature of art. It just reaches people in ways that you don't expect. And... Uh, I had no idea. I'm just so happy, Gracie, because it, you said it had um, a significant effect on you when you when you when you watched it. And beauty, beauty, eh? That's the ano, eh? That's art, eh? These are beautiful lyrics. Um, my caption for the video was when lyrics were lyrics. Cole, Cole Porter wrote some nice ditties with really clever, clever, clever lyrics. You can't have a vocabulary and and, you know, and and appreciate his tunes. Um, tapos there, you know, he's such an American national treasure because he's such such American. He captures the the period. He captures the the uh, the beauty of the time. It's just a simpler time. People just um, took things um, for granted, and I wanted to capture that. So. With my and theater training, and, and, and I sang the song. I, I just, um, you'll notice in all of my videos, I don't cut. I don't do any, I make sure I kind of know it, at least at the very least. At the, the very, very, very seldom times, I'll put a lyric sheet there, just in case. But 99%, um, <laughs> I won't refer to it. I want it to be, I want you to see my anxiety if I'll get it wrong. Or if I'll, you know, the, you know. Miguel, go ahead, judge me. I'm, my notes are not perfect, but at least it's from here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take it. Yeah, you know, the, the natural, the natural and the unconscious performance of your videos really, you know, it, it's nothing short of delightful. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to introduce the first video virtual performance for this evening, Noel Rios' interpretation of a Cole Porter classic, The Lovely. Roll video. I feel the sudden urge to sing The kind of ditty that invokes the spring so control your desire to curse While I crucify the verse This verse I started seems to me A tin antithesis of melody So despair you all the pain just skip the darn thing and sing the refrain. Mi, 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 re, 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 do, sol, mi, do, la, si. Is young, the skies are clear, and if you want to go walking, dear, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. I understand the reasons why you're sentimental. Well, so am I. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. You can tell at a glance what a swell night. This is for romance, you can hear dear mother nature murmuring low. I 
Some ghost, oh, please be sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's delectable, it's delirious, it's the lemma, it's the limit, it's deluxe, it's lovely. Time marches on, and soon it's plain, and you've won my heart, and I've lost my brain. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. Life seems so sweet that we decide it's in the bag to get unified. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. See the crowd in that church. See the proud Carson locked on his perch. Get the sweet beat of that Oregon ceiling heart. Here comes the boom. How they cheer and how they smile as we go galloping down the aisle. It's the fine dip, it's the bean dip, it's the boom, the bar, it's the victory, it's the mellow, it's the winner, it's the place, it's the lovely. And soon we take a few hours off to eat wedding cake. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. It feels so fine to be a bride. And how's the food? It's lightly fried. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely. To the pub, how shall we pay? Are we hop in our plush little plane till a bright through the darkness cozily calls? Niagara Falls, oh well, my love, our days are fleet, and what a beautiful bridal suite! It's the really, it's the rousy, it's the revelry, it's the rhapsody, it's the regal, it's the royal, it's the rich. We settle down as man and wife to solve the riddle we'll call the married life. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's the love. Wow, <laughs> that really is a delightful and happy tune that really brought me out of my um, sadness. And I want to thank you, Noel, for deciding to put that show up on Facebook. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Thanks for having me. Tsaka, nangakamiss talagang mag, ano, mag-form. Um, kahit sa ganitong forum lang, um, mag-tape tayo ng sarili natin and then let's let's ca- try to capture what we're trained to do and, and bring it to uh, our audience, even if they can't, can't come to the theater for now because theaters are, are dark and cruise ships are grounded, concert halls are padlocked. Um, we can't do much, but we'll do our best. Let's try our best. We'll yes. make people happy. Yes, and um, you have actually been on a daily basis uh, every time i open my facebook hinahanap ko na yung mga videos na ipopost mo and I, I i really wanted to showcase what i felt were uh performances virtual performances and the right song selections that will fit into our theme tonight no and one of the songs that you recorded is also very close to my heart, no? And um, this original musical called The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is uh, uh, an amazing musical that was staged by trumpets a few years back. If I'm not mistaken, it's been 10 or 11 years since they, they did that musical. And when you recorded the next piece, um, it was so significant because uh, 
first of all, the the person who the who co-wrote the libretto is a, a good friend of ours, no? Luna Inoshan, no? and of course, Jaime Del Mundo. And then the, the costumes that were um, designed for that particular play uh, was uh, done by a good friend of mine, Mark Higgins, who happens to be the brother of my friend who passed away last Sunday. So, uh, you know, somehow, I don't know what the universe is telling me, but somehow everything was falling into place uh, on my journey between Wednesday to tonight. And I, I'm so thankful to, to, to you for joining me again because, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a gift. You've given me such a tremendous gift. No, uh, and and Noel, thank you, thank you so much. The um, honor is mine. Thank you um, for giving me a forum, and I'm just happy that this is reaching people. I'll I'll keep posting while I'm quarantine. I'm here in in lockdown in Malaysia, and who knows where it'll reach. As you were saying, uh, the here in in. The, the Philippines can be very proud of that musical, the original um, musical by Trumpet. As we know, the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe um, was from Chronicles of Narnia, right, by C.S. Lewis, which itself was an, um, an allegory, uh, allegorical retail, retelling of uh, the Christian story. Um, and then this, this, was, this was written, what, decade ago? And um, the musical was written after that. And then a decade later, wow, um, songs that were written suddenly have new meaning. They take on new meaning during uh, modern times. And that's, again, the nature of art. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, in, in that song uh, that, I, that I sang and I recorded, um, it talks about missing... Uh, a world that that's in the past, and with um, it's it's a prayer actually, isn't it? It's a prayer for us to to get those times again, those times back, um, where it's full of hope, it's full of uh, love, because now it's yeah, it's there's there's reason to be sad, there's reason to be to be a little bit down because um, the things we're used to, which we took for granted, they're not there anymore. And we have we pray for for better times to return. I'm very um yeah um my condolences, Gracie, for your for your loss, and um better times ahead. Hope for better times. Um, thank you, Noel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for our next virtual performance done by our guest artist Noel Rios. I'm very happy to introduce this song, an original music um, composed by Lito Villarreal with the lyrics composed by Jaime Del Mundo and Luna Inoshan and with the arrangement by Mon Faustino. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the song Beloved Narnia. Roll video, please. <laughs> My heart can still remember, my mind can clearly see My beloved Narnia, the way it used to be There is nothing quite like Narnia In the splendor of its spring when fields were glowing gold and green Yes, my heart remembers Can you see along with me? My beloved Narnia The way it used to be The river of silver And the brilliance of the trees Skies of sapphire blue, the flowers sparkling and new, the summer 
stars in Narnia, the fairies at play, the butterflies swirl in a graceful ballet, the forests would ring with laughter and song. The naiads, the dryads raced with the wind, the she trees and he trees danced in a glen, while mischievous satyrs played all day long. It seems so very long ago, now our lives are bleak and cold. How we long for summertime and not this grief untold. But it's not just the summers I truly miss. It's the love, the laughter, and the bliss. The love and the laughter of Narnia. In the memory of every Narnian, as we hope and pray and long, as our hearts never fail to remember, as our minds always clearly see, as it can be, as it will be, once again. Happy and free. And free. Well, Noel, what can I say? That song takes my breath away every time I hear it. And your rendition um, really touched my heart and brought about a lot of good memories. And um, that song, I believe, is so appropriate for the times because we long for what we had. We long for the time pre of pre-pandemic and uh, right now it's as if Narnia is full of snow we're still in that winter and hopefully one day we will see Aslan in the horizon yes um, amen yes um, we pray for that I in turn was inspired watching the uh, the the people who played the role, um, the character who sings that song, Mr. Caloorosa and Mr. Roy Rolioda, our common friend who yeah. guested with us yeah. in previous incarnations of the show, and who would have known, right? They're singing uh, about uh, a mythical land, and waiting for a lion to come back would would resonate in today's um, pandemic where, where we want a disease-free world once again. And I'm, it's nice. Uh, that's how beautiful the song is written by Lito and um, Tita Luna and Jaime. And it's being, I don't know, it's being covered by many of my trumpets friends now. I I've, I've found um, Sheila Francisco made one the other day. It was really beautiful because it's personal to each and every one of us. And once what it reaches our audience, it takes on a, a, another meaning and another meaning. It's the nature of art. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's nice. precisely the whole idea that I wanted to convey tonight is that um, we cannot, a life without art, a life without the beauty of song, a life without the energy of dance, a life without a beautiful 
poems is bland, is loveless, is meaningless. And um, when we infuse our lives with all of this, songs, music, poetry, dance, theater, it sort of brings back our humanity that modern day problems like pandemic, traffic, environmental problems, uh, you know, credit card bills, electricity bills, uh, you know, loans, <laughs> mortgages, all of that sort of reduces our humanity. We've just become uh, creatures that earn money and pay bills. And in between, we eat. But if we have art, if we, if we are inspired by the beauty, the meaning, the expression of art, it really brings back our humanity. It makes us feel human again, makes us feel vital again and it makes us it keeps us in touch with the our very essence the feature of art eh, it's we we beauty we take um we take reality and we we up uh, we make an abstraction of it right right whether uh right, right we, we don't just say we're hungry there's nothing to eat people are dying that may or may not be beautiful. It's it's it truth. It's the truth. But if we say my heart can still remember, my mind can clearly see our beloved Narnia, the way it used to be. There is nothing quite like Narnia. Then it becomes much more pa if we you put a the composer puts a tune to it. I can still remember. My mind can clearly see. I love it. That's our, that's our place in the world. And for now, we're down, but not out. Nope. Thanks for bringing us um, to the forefront. For now, we just need to survive and be prudent. Um, follow May's advice. Um, <laughs> forgo muna luxuries. It's, uh, yeah, we these times are coming. Eh? So uh, they're here. In fact, they're upon us. So it makes us realize what's really important. What's the difference? Between a need and want, and um, we can, uh, no, we can, we can reach for the stars. Just yes. for now. Um, yes. <laughs> and also, <laughs> and, um, uh, what's interesting to explore, Noel, is uh, a little bit of a journey, your journey in art, uh, in in the world of theater. Because uh, ma iba ako, no. Um, Personally, I know that you did not study dramatics. You you were actually being geared by your parents to be, you know, <laughs> to be uh, to be in business or to be, uh, you know, uh, doing other things other than theater, right? Um, ano tayo eh? Pilipino tayo eh. Siyempre, ano yan? Uh, art is only a, ano eh, parang ilang luxury nga, yan. Lalo na, if you're the oldest um, heterosexual male child, hindi pwede yan. Anong, ha? Kakanta ka? Ano? Kakaarte ka? Magkano ba may judge? You know, this is what you get, right? And it's not, you gotta, ano eh, you gotta uh, talk the talk, walk the walk. Lahat tayo ganyan, siguro. Um, lalo na, in, in, my, in my time, I'm glad now people actually have like uh, kids now can actually take a college course to become, uh, let's say, a musical theater major, or you know, um, in my time there were only you know, it's only UP theater arts. Um, there was there was no it wasn't really an option, and I had to I know I had to prove I guess to my family I could stay in myself, but I was prepared to starve. I was prepared to starve. Uh, now, looking back, I wish I'd known this. I wish I'd known what I know now. Now you don't have to, and of course, you feed yourself. You need to eat. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't, uh, if you don't sustain yourself, you won't be able to to last through a two, a three, four hour rehearsal, eight hour rehearsal. You need breath so that you can sing. 
you need strength so that you can dance you need to you need to need money so you can buy books so you can uh, feed your mind you can you can learn and you can make associations so that you can interpret your script better you know all those things you need you need money it's a reality you need to be able to support yourself um i wish i'd known what i know now like yeah. they were saying yeah. you got to you can't just be a spender you have to be a saver and then later on invest but before you can invest you have to save uh yun um it's the reality sabi nga di ba the no fan act is no day by today but today like in rent um that's not quite true because yes it's not it's yes. no day by today there you would sign a contract so that you can do a show which has an opening date and a, a, yeah. a run of let's say yeah. 60 the, shows and then a closing yeah. date so you got to plan for that and one other one other bit about uh, your career was that you were one of the f- many who trained under the great late Bibot Amador and um, yes. what was it like Um, Tita Bibot, as we fondly uh, call her, she was uh, she was authoritarian. She was uh, she had exacting standards, and she, she had the no. She she had a very warm heart. Also, I didn't realize it at the time. To, you, know, I was a teenager, and of course, I was I was in awe and and scared of her. Very first day of rehearsals. Uh, this was a school play that was my introduction to theater she came in you know she's very tough remember her right she was alive she asked a group of high school kids why are you here why are you here some people answer oh, so i can be exempted from school so i can meet pretty girls um she said okay those are all good answers but you're here at least one of you or some of you maybe none of you because there's something inside you that demands to be expressed and i went speaking to my soul from then on that was the seed that was planted and i wanted to be an, an actor i wanted to be a theater actor more more specifically a theater actor yeah and uh, being a theater actor so you started with repertory philippines and uh, how long were you with rep I did two years uh, with them, and then I gave it up because I didn't. Um, I was scared to to go full time and to to cast my um, my net into the waters, like like um, as I said. No, so five years, I became normal. I finished. I finished college. I tried the corporate world. Didn't work out. It it, it didn't take long before I realized I really really wanted to be full time theater um yeah uh, i went back to the the company i i knew best that i loved and i did rep full time for 4 years as they say it was um parang learning experience it's your kindergarten and uh, let's say kindergarten through elementary through high school that was rep for me uh, i owe them a lot yeah, yeah. they would yeah. produce ano eh they would produce 8 or 9 plays a year that was awesome you could not get that training anywhere else the closest would be let's say um tanghalang pilipino actors company or or peta kalinangan ensemble yon uh, but yeah. yeah those were yeah. You know, you'd, you'd get nine new plays in your resume every year so um let's talk a little bit about the next video and this is a, a beautiful song from uh, a play called Sino Ka Ba? Uh, was that Tanghalang Pilipino? Was that a Tanghalang Pilipino production? This is a uh, original Filipino musical by uh, Musicat, Music Theater, uh, Musical Theater Philippines. Oh. By um, This is the company of Celeste Legaspi and Gurley Rodis. And now they're they're known by the name called Culture Tain. And um, this this was how many years ago? Maybe maybe twenty years ago. The name of the musical was Sino Kaba Serizal. 
And this beautiful song, it's long, but well, our national hero didn't write short stuff. You know, he, he um, this, it began in Spanish, but his, his, uh, his final, uh, no, his final um, speech and his, his last goodbye, this was translated into Tagalog by Andres Bonifacio, another national hero, and then captured so beautifully by the composer and also lyricist, um, Ma'am Celeste's husband, Nonoy Gallardo, who's a, an advertising genius. And this is one of, uh, this is one of his proud so, works. So, then, who was the composer of the song? The composer is Mr. Nonoy Gallardo. Uh, he's an he's an advertising genius. Is that Nonoy Gallardo? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna introduce the introduce video the right video now. Right now. So, so this video. Um, what caught me was the first part of it because the first part you will recognize the poem written by our national hero Jose Rizal uh, Mi Ultimo Adios in Spanish and for those of you that can still remember like myself I can still remember the poem um, it's a very it's a man's last words expressing his love for his country and also a lot of sadness no um for for his country because a lot of things are not going right and uh it's a beautiful land we love our land so much and a lot of us yearn for this beautiful land of ours to be to be right again to be to be beautiful again and we never really say goodbye to our native land even if we go abroad or we find ourselves in other places and i'm sure the music and the lyrics will resonate with so many of our kababayans who have um, who have left the philippines or who are still here also will resonate with you the message of this song is just so deep so without further ado, I would like to introduce the third video made by our guest artist, Noel Rayos. And this is his rendition of Mi Ultimo Adios from the musical Sino Kama. Let's roll that video. Adios, patria adorada, región del sol querida, perla del mar de oriente, nuestro perdido eterno. A voy alegre, La triste mustia vida y fuera más brillante, más fresca, más florida, también por ti la tierra, la tierra. Tu bien, a cui mamá matai, a cui na mamá las nasa silangan ay, na mamá na yaung maliga yang naraw na sisikat sa likod ng luksang nagtabing na ulat. 
ang aking adhika sa pul magkaisip ng kasalukuyang bata pang malit ay ang tanghalin ka at minsan masilip sa dagat silangan hiyas na marikip Ikay kuminhawa, laking kagandahan na ako ay malubog at ikay matanghal. Kininghay malalagot, mabuhay ka lamang, bangkay ko'y masilog sa iyong kalangitan. Kung sa libingan ko tumubong mamalas sa malagong damo makinig ulak-ulak sa mga labi ko'y mangyari dilapat sa kaluluwa ko halik ay gawad Ayang idirog, sakit yaring hirap, katagalugan kong pinakaliliyag. Tingkin mo ang aking pagpapahibakas, di ay iiwan ko sa iyo ang lahat. Alam magulang at mga kapatid, kapilas ng aking kaluluwa at digdib, mga kaibigan, bata pang malit sa aking tahanan, di na masisilip. Pagpapasalamat at mapahinga rin palang estranghera kasuyo ko sa liyo palang sa inyo mga igiliw mamatay ay siyang pagkagubi Such a beautiful, poignant song written by uh, another fantastic uh, local composer, Nonoy Gallardo. I'd uh, like to bring back our guest artist, Noel Rayos, and uh, for his final message to our kababayans and fellow artists. And once again, taus po sa ako nagpapasalamat sa you, Noel, because uh, you have given us so much. Over the last few weeks, your virtual performance videos has uh, touched me personally. And I'm sure uh, when you return, when things are better out there, we will find a way to have coffee here in Manila because I know you're going to be coming back soon. Any last words, Noel? Well, yun. Ako naman mag ultimo adios. Um, thank you, Gracie, for bringing uh, me back. And all I can say is to all my fellow artists, mga kapatid ko sa theater, uh, keep the faith. Let's just stay alive for now. Broke my heart. It breaks my heart to see what's happening now because of the pandemic. No one could have seen that this would happen. But uh, we don't have to despair. We just have to. We just have to buckle down, survive. Um, 
some of my friends have to do sabi nga nila normal jobs so and so um meaning it it maybe that's not the term eh? it's just not theater just not performance um so that they can keep going they can provide there's nothing wrong with that ako para sa akin ano lang tayo hindi sa mamamatay yung kaluluwa mong artista hindi matutulog muna siya hanggang magising uli pag tapos na tong lahat mag, ano naman to eh magwawakas naman eh there will be an end to all uh this um this thickness we will survive hopefully by the time our bodies are still strong and healthy and we can and we can uh, we can perform again in the meantime i'm sure new art will be coming uh, like director leo real said use this time to create art i didn't you know gracie i didn't used to sing a lot kasi uh, dati ano ko eh mas gusto kong mag straight play sa mga gusto kong ano lang what i wanted to do was just do mga basta not not ano eh. i didn't consider myself really a singer pero now kasi suddenly all those songs have added meaning and i they they're begging for expression so eto ako ngayon in my humble little way i just put my phone camera in front and then uh, some songs are playing on my other device and i'll capture it and then i'll upload it on my social media for noel rayos on facebook those who want to see i have mga 2000 videos up there and it's gonna keep coming whether you like it or not <laughs> Thanks again, Gracie. Thank you for everything. God bless everybody. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you so much. So, friends, that was our our dear friend, Noel Rayos. And um, Tita Gracie will be right back and close the show. So don't go away. <laughs> 